Good morning and welcome to Wednesday the 15th of April. Um, the kids don't officially go back to school till tomorrow but we are getting back into a bit of a routine today. So we're all up. Lilia is not going to be joining in Joe Wick's PE. That's a step too far for her when it's not actually an official school day. But Lilia is, um, but Phoebe is. So Phoebe and I are going to do the Joe Wick's PE. Um, I've already been up and doing work, so I logged on and started working at about 8am um, and I've got a good hour and a half of work done already, so that's really good. So after I have done Joe Wicks, I'll get the girls sorted out and then I'll be able to work for a little bit longer and then I will stop working and spend the rest of the day focusing on the house and the kids and all of that stuff. But for now, I'm going to have to summon the energy to leap about the living room wearing gym gear. But I also wanted to film before I did Joe Wicks to prove to you that my hair is straight and shiny and not gray because by the time I finished doing the exercising, I'm going to look very disheveled. <laughs> My video that I'm editing for work is currently exporting, so that's going to take about 20 minutes. We're going to use the time wisely. We're going to make banana muffins. What do we think of the banana muffins? They are amazing and I think they're better than banana bread. I agree. I'm going to put the link to the recipe we used, which we've never used before. I'm going to put them underneath this video. But we really, really like oh, these muffins. <laughs> Tan's just had fun. The only thing we did differently was we just buttered the muffin tins and put them straight in rather than using muffin cases. They are lovely. The post has just been, yes. and Dan is taking away things because they all say don't open until the 19th and I want to open them. You can't, they're mine and I'm going to hide them and you're never going to see them ever again. Sad face. Don't take that muffin upstairs. Hello, it's time for the not so daily address to the nation. Welcome to the not so daily address to the nation. Oh, I don't know who that was, but it wasn't the Queen. Sorry, I suddenly, I'm going to have to resist the urge. There was a pile of washing there that needed folding and I was going to start folding it, but that will just distract me. Um, I've snuck upstairs. Dan is um, currently in the garden on a work call. Um, Phoebe's downstairs um, on her iPad for 20 minutes before we go out for our government issue walk. Lilia is upstairs um, singing intermittently with playing her flute because she's playing um, songs from High School Musical. So I thought now would be a good time to sneak upstairs and do a bit of a chat um, with you that I was going to do yesterday but ran out of steam. Um, I have had a headache since pretty much since I got out of the bath. Um, and now bear in mind that I think yesterday I probably drank about eight pints of water throughout the course of the day and I drank four of them when I was in the bath. And um, today I've just, I'm halfway down my fifth pint of water. So it's not that I'm dehydrated. Um, don't know what's going on. So I've just taken some paracetamol now because I figured, you know what, it's now quarter to three in the afternoon and I've still got this blinking headache. So I've just taken some paracetamol. 
and I really hope it goes. Um, my podcast is currently saving and exporting so that I can upload that. Now I'm wondering, normally I would try and upload it overnight, which I might still do tonight, but we're having our new broadband put in tomorrow. It's still going ahead. They have contacted us to say that they are still able to fit it, which is really, really good. There were guidelines we have to follow around social distancing, but I'm kind of tempted to almost wait until that's fitted and then fit, um, upload the podcast after that. But then part of me thinks, oh God, what if something goes wrong and then I can't upload it at all? So I'm mm, not sure. So it'll either go live tomorrow, which is Thursday, or the day after, which is Friday. Um, thank you for all your comments on the video that I uploaded on the behind the scenes. Um, I just did a little video, not yesterday. So what's today? Today's the 15th. So it was the video on the 13th of April. I did a little behind the scenes of how I film vlogs with my iPhone. And you've been really, really generous with your comments on that. So thank you. I'm glad that you found it interesting. And a few people asked some questions about my tripod. So the tripod I have is actually a bit broken because I've used it so much and it was a present. It was a surprise present for my lovely friend Lily of the Lily of Norway podcast. She sent it to me um, as a surprise gift last year and it is brilliant. It's a very um, basic tripod but it has three height settings and it's great. So I'll see if I can find on Amazon a link to something similar and if I can I'll pop an affiliate link underneath this video if you're interested um, in getting one. But I absolutely love it. It does exactly what I need to do. Um, I, I take it with me everywhere. And when it's all kind of, when it all the telescopic legs are all in, it can even be used as a kind of clunky selfie stick. So I really, really love it. Someone else asked about music. Um, I use music from the YouTube audio library. They're all copyright free. And what I have to do is I download the music onto my iTunes library. And from there, I put them in playlists. Like uh, I've got one that's just called vlogs. Um, and I get all my favorite music that I use for my vlogs in there. And then when I'm in iMovie, I can add those copyrighted, that copyrighted, copyright free music tracks to my uh, vlogs. Um, yeah, so every now and then I'll go and search for some new ones when I get a bit bored. Um, I don't know if that's a very good description, but yeah, if you have any questions about it, I'm happy to do another, another more detailed video about how I edit and put things together generally. Um, yeah, it's something I like talking about. So if you want to know, just ask. Um, I don't feel like I'm being very consistent day to day with the vlogs. I feel like one day I'll talk about something in particular and the next day I completely forgot what I said the day before and start rabbiting on about other things and don't really pick up on things. So I'm, uh, apologies if I have started talking about something and then never come back to it. I think my brain is just not able to keep up with itself at the moment. Right, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm getting into the realms of rambling now and I'm gonna go and uh, change into my jeans and get ready because we are gonna go for a walk in about half an hour. I'm expecting a delivery. It should be here any time now um, via parcel force. So I have everything crossed that that's going to arrive shortly. <laughs> They're hand knitted socks, I was filming them. We're going for our government issue walk, but my delivery's not arrived. Alan, the delivery driver, I got a text message saying it was Alan. He's not here, where's Alan? Dan has volunteered to stay behind and wait for Alan. Alan. So it's just me and a Smurf and a traffic cone going for, work, for our walk. <laughs>
just called. Still no Alan. Where's Alan? Of all the trees that we do climb on the heath, this is the only tree that is referred to as the climbing tree. Dan, was it Alan? I think he was. Alan has been, and I would like you to meet my new friend. <laughs> so, right at the beginning of these vlog series, you saw me sorting out some cameras. I had two cameras that my dad had given me, one that he had given me when he was alive, and one that I inherited after he died. And I didn't need two. So I sold the one I inherited because I always preferred my other, these are D DLSR cameras. I always preferred the one he gave me. And I used the money to trade in and get a new vlogging camera, which I've got. I've done a lot of research about this and I'm gonna have to do a lot of playing around to get my head around how to use this. And it'll be a while before I can actually start using it for vlogging. Uh, but I actually bought it secondhand as well from the same place that I sold the camera to. So I've, in, um, I saved uh, well over four hundred pounds doing it that way. So and my dad would have been absolutely thrilled to bits that I have researched and bought a new gadget because he loved that kind of thing. So I'm gonna get dinner sorted, and then I'm gonna spend a bit of time looking up tutorials and getting acquainted with my my new best friend. 